serious consideration to material which is obviously perverted, scurrilous, and functionally irrelevant. His filings, like those of major candidates, will be audited after the election. But in the meantime, he can game the system. I don't mean to sound like the mealy mouth bureaucrat, but take it to Congress, folks. Over almost three decades, despite all that taxpayer money, LaRouche has never come close to winning a primary. But there's always 2008. Lisa Myers, NBC News, Washington. When we come back, voter turnout overseas, Americans living abroad race to the polls. Let's talk about better. When someone says something's better, it's usually just their opinion. So if you suffer from acid reflux disease, frequent heartburn, and I told you prescription Nexium heals acid-related damage in the esophagus better, you'd want proof. And now, your doctor has that proof. Recent medical studies prove Nexium heals that damage better than the other leading prescription medicine. No wonder they call Nexium the healing purple pill. So call your doctor today and ask if Nexium is right for you. Because if left untreated, the damage could get worse. Other serious stomach conditions may still exist. The most common side effects of Nexium are headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Hey, with Nexium, you don't just feel better, you are better. And better is better. We know that Senecot, with its natural vegetable laxative ingredient, has been hard to find. Well, your wait is over. Senecot, with the laxative ingredient proven to be effective in 50 clinical studies, now in stores everywhere. This year on our weekend away, Jane and I wanted adventure. I didn't want my asthma to hold me back. Bye, You want to go where you want to go. Do what you want to do. There's a different kind of asthma controller, Singulair. It's not a steroid. It's a once-a-day tablet that helps provide effective 24-hour control. And the same Singulair is also approved to help relieve a broad range of seasonal allergy symptoms. Singulair will not replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden symptoms. Continue taking your other asthma medicines unless your doctor tells you to stop or change the dose. If asthma symptoms get worse, contact your doctor at once. Side effects are generally mild and vary by age and may include headache, ear infection, sore throat, and upper respiratory infection. your doctor about once a day Singulair. Asthma control that can help you breathe easier. Sunday, a party out of control and a teen loses his life. Why did his friends wait to help him? Dateline tonight, NBC 7, 6 Central. NBC Monday. Electricity is in the air. Starting with an all-new Halloween Fear Factor. And the most shocking stunt in Fear Factor history. <laughs> then turn it up for the Radio Music Awards with Usher, Destiny's Child, Nickelback, Tim McGraw, Elton John, Mark McGrath, and Janet Jackson. <laughs> the one night in music where anything can happen. This is Vegas, baby. Halloween Fear Factor in the Radio Music Awards, NBC Monday. This is meteorologist Andy Parker, and you're looking at live Doppler 2000. In Japan, powerful earthquakes continue to rock the northern part of that country with another felt early Monday in Tokyo. As many as 23 people died this weekend. Tens of thousands have been evacuated into emergency shelters. The quakes ripped through major highways and lifelines. From Asia to Europe and across the world, many eyes are on the close U.S. presidential race. Millions of them belong to American civilians living abroad whose absentee votes are also at stake in the upcoming election. NBC's Preston Mendenhall is in Moscow tonight. John Kerry slash John Edwards. For American Ken Childs, it's already election day. It was in the ballot box. Like hundreds of thousands of Americans living overseas, Childs from New Hampshire fills out an absentee ballot in Moscow. Across town at the U.S. Embassy, it's a race against time. Down to the wire, it's Bush versus Kerry. It's 50-50, um, I think, all the way. On. There are more than 4 million Americans living overseas, and usually only a quarter of them vote for president. But with this year's close race, a record number have requested ballots. Ballots. Morning. How can I help you? Came to vote. From yeah, right Russia. There. So what county are you from in California? Mm -hmm. President, senator. To Israel, where demand for absentee ballots tripled. 
to Mexico, home of the largest group of Americans living abroad, over one million. Everywhere, voters are on an urgent mission. Uh, in the year 2000, Americans realized after the very close elections with uh, Al Gore that their vote does count. George Bush and Dick Cheney. In the Egyptian capital, Cairo, Jennifer and Eric Goodwin don't agree on the candidates, but they do agree this is one of the most important U.S. elections ever. Well, I voted in the state of Colorado. That's one of the swing states, so I assume it might matter. Pollster Charlie Cook says it does. So you're talking about four, five, six percent of the electorate is going to be could be casting their ballots from overseas. That's a lot. After years abroad, there are plenty of Americans who don't vote or just can't figure out how. The rules and deadlines vary widely from state to state. I have no residence in the United States, so the question is if you have to register in a state, which one do I register in? The state of confusion, perhaps? But those who do send in their ballots want their votes to count, even thousands of miles away from home. Preston Mendenhall, NBC News, Moscow. When NBC Nightly News continues, how fast food chains are milking it these days. What makes CVS Pharmacy the leading drugstore in America? Well, with the Extra Care Card, our customers got back over $1 billion in savings and rewards last year. CVS Pharmacy. Expect something extra. Don't blow Saturday with an ordinary nut. Put out the good stuff. Planters. Susan Macy is getting more from her vitamin C. The advanced protection of Ester C. Advanced because it's readily absorbed. Ester C. Are you getting advanced protection from your vitamin C? Got gas? Pressure? Bloating? Tums doesn't treat gas, neither does Pepto-Bismol. To treat gas, use Gas-X for fast, powerful relief. Popcorn? Gas-X beats the bloat, and acids don't. Millions of us are hospitalized with heart-related chest pain or a certain type of heart attack, what doctors call ACS. The cause? For most, it was blood platelets that formed clots, which blocked blood from getting to the heart. Think aspirin and other heart medications alone are enough? Plavix could help make a difference. So ask your doctor about adding Plavix. Taken with aspirin and your current treatment, Plavix goes beyond what you're taking to help raise protection against heart attack or stroke. Plavix and your other medications work in different ways. Plavix taken with aspirin plays its own role in keeping blood platelets from sticking together and forming clots, which helps keep blood flowing. If you have a medical condition that causes bleeding, such as a stomach ulcer, you shouldn't use Plavix. The risk of bleeding may increase with Plavix and when you take Plavix with certain other medicines, including aspirin. Review your medicines with your doctor to minimize this risk. Additional rare but serious side effects could occur. Add more protection against heart attack or stroke with Plavix. Monday on Today, John Kerry, an exclusive interview. Dick Cheney, an exclusive interview. Monday on Today on NBC. The campaign's in the home stretch. NBC Nightly News Monday. On election day, if you're having a voting problem, there's a number you can call. Because it's all about making your vote count. Call 1 866 My Vote 1. We've all seen the ad campaigns, the dairy industry appealing to Americans to bring milk back to the table. Well, after decades of lagging sales, milk is making a comeback in some places you might not expect. Here's NBC's Peter Alexander. In Columbus, Ohio, I have kids meal cheeseburger. Tammy Muncy adding something new to her children's dinner tray. Yes. Chocolate milk. Look who's got milk now. Some fast food restaurants famous for their burgers and fries now finding their littlest customers are drinking more of this. At Wendy's, milk sales since July have risen 15-fold to more than a million servings a week. McDonald's milk sales have doubled since May. Why the sales spike? 
Both fast food chains say kids are tempted by new and colorful child-friendly containers. I choose chocolate milk. I'm still choosing. Analysts say it's also the on-air advertising. And while both McDonald's and Wendy's have always offered milk, chocolate milk wasn't added to the menu until the middle of this year. Now it's the secret to their success. Chocolate milk accounting for nearly 75% of Wendy's milk sales rich with calcium and calories. In an 8-ounce Wendy's chocolate milk, 160 calories, 26 grams of sugar. At McDonald's, 170 calories, 25 grams. By comparison, a Coke that size, just as much sugar and fewer calories. Still, parents like Irene Ceballos are satisfied. Well, I'm glad the choices are there because they haven't always been. Wendy's president, Tom Mueller, says it's all about options. Moms love the idea. It gives her a variety. They, they're visiting us more often because they got a variety to choose from. The sudden surge comes as welcome news to the nation's dairy industry, where milk sales have been declining since the 1960s, despite major marketing campaigns to reclaim milk's place at the dinner table. Still, Margot Wutan of the Center for Science and the Public Interest warns fast food buyers, beware. There might be a couple of healthy items like milk added to the menu, but they're still in this minefield of salt and fat and lots of calories. But most nutritionists agree, adding milk, even chocolate milk, is a healthy step in the right direction. America's favorite drink at home now becoming a popular choice for families on the go. Cheers. Peter Alexander, NBC News, Columbus, Ohio. That's NBC Nightly News for this Sunday. Thanks for watching. A reminder, you can see more of Katie Couric. Previously on AF.